welcome to day five, the rhythm of your mind-body. In every moment, we have the power to choose our attitudes and reaction to every person and every situation we encounter. That's where our real power lies. With every experience, we're painting our canvas, thought by thought, choice by choice. And when we approach our lives with a sense of openness, we begin to embrace that co-creative power of mind and body and become more attuned to choices that nurture us physically, mentally, spiritually. So making the most nourishing choice is both a practice and an opportunity for us to grow. And when you do that, you come closer to lifelong well-being and vitality. That's just the truth. Before we begin today's meditation, please get comfortable and listen as Deepak tells us more about how a healthy mind creates a healthy body. As human beings, with conscious awareness, we are the only creatures on the planet that can change our biology through our thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Our cells are constantly eavesdropping on our thoughts and being changed by them. The slightest shift of mood is picked up by every cell which means that we do not think with our brains alone. All 50 trillion cells actively share our thoughts. As we discussed earlier in our journey, doshas serve as switching stations where thoughts turn into matter, where what we think catalyzes a change in our bodies. Consider what would happen if on your morning walk you suddenly encountered a rather large snake slithering across your path. If you were frightened, your heart would begin to pound, your throat would become dry and your legs would feel like rubber. The abstract mental image of seeing the snake would trigger a concrete reaction a rush of adrenaline. Our thoughts work in the same way. When we are anxious, depressed, frightened about the future or worried about the past, we send our body messages that cause it to transform in an instant to help us react to the threat that faces us even when no real threat exists. However, if we face each moment with present moment awareness, enthusiasm, passion for life, optimism, and an openness to all life surprises, then we send ourselves a completely different positive message. Think again about your hypothetical morning walk. If that same snake crossed your path, but you happen to like snakes, your body would have reacted completely differently to your positive thoughts. Instead of wanting to flee, you would likely want to stay and observe the snake. Perhaps touch it or pick it up. In this scenario, your body would undergo the opposite transformation, one that would support balance and healing. Because we possess the subconscious ability to heal or create toxicity in our body through thought, our work is to mentally go with the flow, creating positive thought patterns that support our optimal health and well-being. Before our meditation, 
let's consider our centering thought. I flow in rhythm with my mind and body. I flow in rhythm with my mind and body. So let's begin. Take a comfortable seat. Place your hands on your lap or on your knees and close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. Inhale slowly and deeply. And then release. With each inhalation and exhalation, allow yourself to feel more at peace. Now, gently introduce the mantra, repeating it silently to yourself. Om Anandam Nama are blissfully free from attachment to outcome. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Continue with your meditation. I'll watch the time and at the end you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Om Anandam Namah
It's time to release the mantra and bring your awareness back into your body. Take a moment to rest. Inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I flow in rhythm with my mind and body. I flow in rhythm with my mind and body.